Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss how to find maxima and minima of a function in two variables. Suppose we have a surface given by z is equal to f of xy where f of xy is a continuous function see this figure here we have any surface z is equal to fxy clearly we can see if we see its projection in the xy plane then this R represents the closed bounded region of this surface. On this surface, we can see that there is at least one point on the surface which is maximum and at least one point on the surface which is minimum. So, this region R contains at least one point which gives the maximum value and it contains at least one point which gives the minimum value of the function f of xy. That is, the function has relative extremum, that is, relative maximum or relative minimum. A function will have relative maximum at the point x0, y0 means that the point x0, y0, z0 is at least as high as all nearby points on the graph of z is equal to fxy. Also, a function will have relative minimum at the point x0, y0 means that the point x0, y0, z0 is at least as low as all nearby points on the graph of z is equal to f of xy. So, we may define relative minimum as the function f has a relative minimum at x0, y0 if f of xy is greater than or equal to f of x0, y0 for all xy in the region R. And we may define relative maximum as the function f has a relative maximum at x0, y0 if f of xy is less than equal to f of x0, y0 for all xy in the region R. Relative extrema occurs only at critical points. So, to locate relative minima and relative maxima, we first need to find the critical points. So, the points at which gradient of function is zero or where one of the partial derivatives does not exist are called critical points. That is, if f is a continuous function, on an open region R, containing x0, y0, Then, x0, y0 is called the critical point if either 
एफ सब एक्स एट एक्स नॉट वाई नॉट इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एफ सब वाई एट एक्स नॉट वाई नॉट इज इक्वल टू जीरो विच इज इक्वलेंट टू सेइंग दैट ग्रेडियंट ऑफ एफ एट एक्स नॉट वाई नॉट इज इक्वल टू जीरो और एफ सब एक्स एट एक्स नॉट वाई नॉट और एफ सब वाई एट एक्स नॉट वाई नॉट does not exist now let us discuss the second partial derivative test for finding maxima and minima let f be a continuous function having second partial derivative on an open region r containing the point ab for which f sub x at ab is equal to 0 and f sub y at ab is equal to 0 to find relative extrema of f consider the equation d equal to f sub double x at ab into f sub double y at ab minus f sub xy at ab whole square if d is greater than 0 and f sub double x at ab is strictly greater than 0 then f has relative minimum at ab and if d is greater than 0 and f sub double x at ab is less than 0 then f has relative maximum at ab but if d is less than 0 then ab f of ab is a saddle point that is the point which is neither relative maximum nor relative minimum and if d is equal to 0 then this test is inconclusive also note that if d is greater than 0 then f sub double x ab and f sub double y ab will have the same sign let us consider an example find the relative extremum for the given function z is equal to x square plus y square let us first find its partial derivatives that is f sub x will be equal to 2x and f sub y will be equal to 2y they exist for all ordered pairs x y so that means the critical points exist let us find the critical points for this we put both partial derivatives equal to 0 and evaluate for x and y so we have f sub x equal to 0 which implies 2x is equal to 0 which implies x is equal to 0 and f sub y equal to 0 which implies 2y is equal to 0 which implies y is equal to 0 so we have ab equal to 0 0 is the critical point now we shall form the equation d equal to f sub double x of ab into f sub double y of ab minus f sub xy of ab Whole square. 
Now, as f sub x is equal to 2x, so differentiating again partially with respect to x, treating y as constant, we get f sub double x is equal to 2. Also, as f sub y is equal to 2y, differentiating this again partially with respect to y, treating x as constant, we get f sub double y is equal to 2. Now to find f sub xy, we first differentiate f partially with respect to x and then with respect to y. So we have f sub x is equal to 2x, differentiating partially with respect to y, keeping x as constant, we get f sub x y is equal to 0. So now, f sub double x at 0, 0 will be equal to 2, f sub double y at 0, 0 will be equal to 2, and f sub x y at 0, 0 will be equal to 0. Putting these values in the equation, d equal to f sub double x at a b into f sub double y at a b minus f sub x y at a b whole square, we get d is equal to f sub double x at 0, 0 into f sub double y at 0, 0 minus f sub x y at 0, 0 whole square, which is equal to 2 into 2 minus 0 square, which is equal to 4. So, d is equal to 4, which is strictly greater than 0. Also, f sub double x at 0, 0 is equal to 2, strictly greater than 0. So the system has relative minimum at AB, that is at 0, 0. Thus, using second partial derivative test, we can find the relative extremum of a given function. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.